guys, how's it going? Tis back again with episode and match day number five of the pack playoff series. Now, in the last one, we managed to pick up another point against Funky Town 49, picking up a nil nil draw. We went to open a 5k pack, managed to pull two new centre backs, Papadopoulos and Kiar. Unfortunately, we didn't get a striker or a winger or any other sort of wide player, so uh, we're hoping to come out of this game with at least another draw so we can open a pack or steal an opposition player. But we're playing Wheels FL today. Now, if you want to see his reaction to this game, then feel free to check the link in the description to his channel and or any of the links to the other people in the series to find out how they did on how they did today but uh, we're coming in against wheels in this one he's had uh, some dodgy results recently he's on a run of poor form although he does have a decent side so you can see Josie out the door and Danny Welbeck up top out the door with a hawk trait on him so he's going to be particularly dangerous he's got uh, Marvo and Brian Ruiz in there as well nice Premier League quartet up top with Lima out wide right and then Skirtle at centre back nice chemistry with the two uh, Spanish defenders as well and uh, Espina the goalkeeper isn't the best but isn't the worst he's definitely a decent goalkeeper we almost got off to a perfect start there Conco breaking it down the right hand side drills the ball across to Douglas Costa but he can't get it under control or get a first time shot away and unfortunately it just bounces straight to the goalkeeper's chest but we're creating another chance here on the half hour and Espina makes a great diving save down to his right hand side to keep us out and that is all the action that's going to be in the first half there really weren't too many chances it was more a case of each, we're just feeling each other out and seeing which particular uh, you know, side of play was going to be more successful, which style of play was going to be more successful. Obviously, as you might expect, with my weaker side and more players in the midfield, I did have more of the ball. So we pushed into the second half, still trying to move the ball about a bit, keep possession, open up some chances at the back perhaps, look for the gaps in between his defensive line. And now uh, we had a corner there, Koscielny wins the header, but unfortunately takes a deflection. But we're going to get another one, going to whip it, get, whip it in again. I'm going to change to Renato because he's got a better delivery than Kosu. Renato is going to whip the ball in and Koscielny is going to go up for a second time, gets on the end of it, keeper brings it down and just manages to stop himself from backtracking over the line to uh, to take the ball over the uh, over the line and give us a 1-0 lead but great move there from uh, from wheels fantastic cutting in and out of my defense great save from Brad Guzan and then fortunately the follow-up shot is tamely into his arms but we're on the attack again 15 minutes from time looking for just any sort of breakthrough Barquero is the man on the break squares the ball to Douglas Costa gets the shot it's not the fastest but it's into the back of the net we've done it it's taken five games but we have a goal boys we are going one new up in the 78th minute away from home look at the fans right up in the corner of the stand they shoved us up in there not too much of an allocation but the few fans that we do have are going absolutely bananas fantastic strike from Douglas Costa he doesn't have the best finish but it's just the accuracy that does the goalkeeper here right into that bottom corner it didn't need the pace on it and we take a 1-0 lead pushing for that victory that we so desperately want and need to get us up the league table we're pushing into where uh, the last 10 minutes here he's actually going to put the ball into the back of the net resulting the uh, the melee from that corner but so so fortunately for us he is offside. Josie Altador is a good couple of yards offside and we're able to maintain our lead. So we're literally just after that, a couple of minutes later, Renato's breaking down the left. He's going to play a nice one-two with Douglas Costa here. Makes the run off him, breaks down the left-hand side and this is just a disgusting ball across all the way to the back post for Kosu to head into the back of the net. We wait five games for a goal and then two come along at once. You just couldn't get in a better cliche than that. We win the game 2-0 amazing stuff it's our first goals of the series and our first victory of the series and it is going to lift us off the bottom of the table so we're going to take a 2-0 win we've now got two draws two defeats and this one victory so we're on five points so far really really pleased actually with the way we've bounced back the past couple of games with this change in formation we're now undefeated playing this 4-5-1 because we won we had the option to take one of uh, Wheels' players now I was looking at Altidore, Welbeck and Lima because of course we're not we don't have any striker of any sort whatsoever. Perhaps Marvo as well for a wide player. Or, of course, because we won, we could open a 7.5 gram pack. And I was torn. I really was torn. But in the end, I just bit the bullet and went for the pack. Hoping to pull not only a striker or a wing back or a winger, but perhaps one of each if we possibly could although pack luck so far has been horrific pulling centre mids and centre backs and goalkeepers only. But we bit the bullet. The pack's going to open. Ball's going to spin round. Who are we going to get? The player that pops up is actually Ibagaza, a central attacking mid. We also get Eno, the holding mid from Ajax. But we've got a striker. 
pub on pace as well with 85 he's not the tallest he's not the strongest but he's a striker that's all we need right now that's all I care about it's going to improve chemistry and he's got a bit of pace to go up top which means we can move Douglas Costa the cam to left mid as you can see now to raise chemistry linking up with Roberto Firmino we've got a nice clump of Italian slash Serie A players in there as well we've actually raised our chemistry from 52 to 64 which hopefully will be the difference to maintain our run of un beaten games we got uh, mental fist cake in the next game so hopefully we can bounce back on the back of this game and try and pick up another victory or at least a draw to maintain a run of bringing new players into the club but this is the table as it stands at the end of the round of five fixes Fuji sits top on 11 points still undefeated so far fantastic from him fist cake sits second so it's definitely going to be a tough game against him next time round Luke Conton and uh, scouting for FIFA although it says 17 points that is a mistake for me he only has seven I do apologize for that I've only just noticed Funky Town on 6 we off the bottom of the table up to 5 points and uh, above wheels now although probably on goal difference we would be below him but you know you've got to put yourself above someone else when you're level on points haven't you and then Joe Bellin HC sat there bottom of the table beat us on the opening day and has subsequently lost his last 4 games so uh, we're up to 6th in the table hopefully we can push on from strength to strength from here that is going to bring this episode to a close guys thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that would be absolutely superb our first victory I think does deserve a like so uh, fingers crossed you guys enjoyed that video if you want to go and see how everyone else did then feel free to check their links in the description but that's all from me for today so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time